to knife violence in the UK. Even after two full weeks of riots and counter demonstrations in the wake of the Southport stabbing incident. In central London's Leicester Square on Monday, a mother and her young daughter were attacked by a knife wielding man, leaving the minor in a seriously injured condition. The stabbing took place in the heart of the British capital, in an area heavily frequented by tourists and shoppers. Onlookers described the assailant as a young, white, skinny male wearing a black t-shirt and a pair of jeans. The man said to have directed his attack at the young girl. Bystanders also reported that the 32-year-old perpetrator put the woman in a headlock and stabbed her while she screamed. Several witnesses are said to have intervened and subdued the man. According to the London Metropolitan Police, the 34-year-old woman suffered minor wounds, while the 11-year-old girl is said to have sustained serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Both are currently seeking further treatment. London's Metropolitan Police arrested the attacker on the scene and have confirmed that they're currently not looking for anyone else in connection to the attack. The police have also confirmed that the assailant and his victims do not seem acquainted at this stage of the investigation. However, a motive behind this heinous attack is yet to be identified. One of the people who intervened and subdued the attacker is Abdullah, a 29-year-old guard at a nearby store. Take a listen. I saw that he, he was stabbing a kid. I jumped on him, hold the hand in which he wasn't having a knife. And they just put him down on the floor and just hold him and kick the knife away from him. And then a couple of more people joined as well and we just hold him until the police came. Uh, it took like maybe three to four minutes, police arrived. And they just stood him under the custody. And the child, it just like all my colleagues, they gave him first aid and in the middle of the police came as well and they just gave the first aid. Monday's attack comes exactly two weeks after the mass stabbing in Southport, wherein three girls were killed and eight of the children injured. The attack sparked riots across England in the wake of misinformation online, claiming the assailant to be a Muslim asylum seeker. Both the Southport and Leicester attackers have been identified as young males, and neither of the cases are being treated as acts of terrorism. In related news, European Union Commissioner Thierry Breton has written to the social media site X is on Elon Musk, warning him that the company will face penalties if it does not address the spread of misinformation and illegal content on its platform. Breton emphasised that his warning also applied to the recent promotion of content that exacerbated this month's riots in the UK. This warning to the tech mogul also comes in the wake of a major face-off Musk had with the UK PM Keir Starmer earlier this month, following Musk's contentious comments of a civil war being inevitable in the UK.